going to be making a surprise yarn of a, a chick and a bunch. And we're going to show you what the picture is going to look like. Ta-da! So it turns into a... It's first an egg, then it's a bunny and a chick. Okay, so that's what we're going to be making. What supplies will we be needing, Lexa? We're going to need crayons. Or markers. Or, or markers, markers, whatever you want. And a pencil. And a piece, two, one piece of paper. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of white paper. And it can be any kind of paper. This is just a piece of regular old computer paper. You're going to fold it in half. So this is my open edge. I'm going to take that open edge and I'm going to fold it back right to the fold. So now I have that. So it opens up. That's how it's going to open up from the egg to the chick or the bunny. So we're going to start with it folded, just like that. And Lila is going to do the demo today. I am using a Sharpie, but you guys are going to use a pencil so you guys can see it. So what's the first step, Lila? The first step is for you to draw the best egg possible, just like this one. Kind of like that. Daddy, don't ruin it. So show them your egg. So, as you can see, there is my egg. What do you think of it? And she just has this extra piece of paper in here right now just so the Sharpie doesn't bleed through. So it's going to look like that for yours, but I just have that. Perfect. Now what? The next step is you're going to open it. Nope, you're going to leave it closed. We're going to leave it closed, and you are going to need to do a the design that you're doing in your egg. So I decided to do a zigzag with circles in the middle. And you can do whatever design you want. And then we're going to do more zigzags. And it's important that you keep that folded nice and tight. So when you open it, it looks like it, it was attached. And then we're just going to do that. You do not have to do the exact same one. Once Lila's finished with her design inside of her egg, she's going to draw some grass. Now, everyone draws grass a little bit differently. I like to draw it so it's kind of just like a zigzaggy scribble. And she'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Some people just do like straight lines right across the bottom, which is another option. Or... So what it looks like on the side. It's grass. Some people just do just zigzag lines all the way across the bottom, but we did kind of like little patches of grass on ours. And you don't have to do them all straight. You can do them like, like technically sideways, diagonal. Okay, now I've finished, so my egg, and there's my grass. 
Then we're going to open it up and you can see half of your egg. You're gonna see half the half of the egg at the top and the bottom. Like that. So when it's open, it'll look like that. You see half the top, half the bottom. And now she's gonna show you how to draw your bunny's face. No. Sorry, I was wrong. <laughs> I missed a step and she caught me. So, next step is we're going to do it for the same exact thing, like the grass kind of, but not really. So, at the bottom and the top of your egg, so the... You're so going to extend the egg down a little bit. And then you're going to make it look like the egg was cracked open. And she'll show you that in just a second. But it has your mama because the egg just cracked today. This one is kind of funny because usually bunnies don't crack out of eggs. <laughs> usually chicks. Alright, so that's what it's going to look like. So you can see that it goes past the fold. But that's okay because that's part of it. So. Next step is we're going to start the bunny's face. Uh, the first step we are going to draw... The bunny's head. The bunny's head. So, from the side of the crack, I'm going to show you after I'm done. So you're just going to connect it like that. And it's going to look like that. So, if you can always pause the video when you need it. So, next we're going to draw the face inside of it. So, we're going to do, start with some eyebrows, obviously. Then we're going to do the eyes. The eyes are a little tricky. So, you're going to do one circle. Or, or one oval, face, depending or on what shape you would like your eyes. Then, you will do another one. One in the bottom of it. You can fill in. And then fill it in where? The, the inside. And then fill, fill it in the out, Not the little one, the outside of the little. And you're going to do that with your other eye too. And then after you're done with your whole egg, you could. That's what that's going to look like. It's turning out pretty good for mine. Then we're going to do the nose. So the nose is like a sideways oval. Like that. Then we're going to it's like a come w. down yep. and go up and go up That's on the other side. kind of like a W. Yep, it kind of looks like a W, but coming out of the nose. Not going all the way up. The next thing we are going to do is the ears. ears. So, we're going to need to do a curvish line. Like a big, it's like a big U. Yeah. And you could color... You. We could color inside your, um, your ears pink if you want. Because that's what bunny ears are at. So, and then I did another small one in the middle of it. So, let's get so you've got a long U and then a little bit of shorter U in the inside of it. Use these after you're done. We're going to come in here. And that's what it's going to look like. It's kind of like a hat, kind of, right now. <laughs> so, the next step is, I'm going to... We're going to do the little feet. So, the next step is, so, you're kind of going to just... Do some fat oval, ovals this time. Real fat ones. But they should be real big. Depends how big you make it. And then you're going to put out, outside of it, you're going to put it's, little, like, circles for its paws. Like that. So, you have one big oval. Then you have a half an oval coming off of the egg and the inside of the big oval, and then you have three small ovals. 
So then you're just going to do it another time, again on the other side. And you can use a Sharpie when you're done to outline it. So that's what it's going to look like when it's all done. You forgot the inside of the belly. Oh, the inside of the belt. And um, the little pulse. So the next step is we're going to start the pulse. So we're going to make from the ear, we're going to go like a little loop from the ear to there, like that. So he has a little tiny paws. The next step is we're going to make his belly. So from the paws, you should, we have, you're going to put a little line. Right there to represent the, his body. Because you don't, can't really see the whole entire body. Then we are going to... Um, make a little one in the middle. And the only other thing, you gotta finish those because they were attached to that one. Oh, and then you see it's all done almost, but then you're going to have Because to when she drew the egg, it was folded like that. Mm -hmm. If you open it at the bottom and the top here, the line, the zigzag wasn't finished because it was like that. So you can go ahead and color it. Just, just like draw the rest of it in. After you're done with your whole egg, you can color it. You can't come down here because then you're going to see that. You're going to see that. Let's see. Sorry. All right. So open it back up. So once it's all done. That's what it's going to look like, and then you can go ahead and color it with the crayons or with markers or whatever you have. And then I'm going to quickly show you how to draw the chick. Well, I'm coloring my cute little bunny. Here. Pretty Jeff. And I would rather use a pencil, but I'm also going to use a Sharpie just so you can see what I'm doing. So you're going to start out exactly the same. You're going to draw that Easter egg. Can you color this one? Yeah. Then you're going to add your design in there. Just sticking my paper in there, so right on my other side. I'm going to do some wavy lines. Maybe I'll do some triangles. So this week's theme is going to be all Easter because um, this Sunday is Easter. So it's all Easter this week. Kind of like last week. It was all wind chimes and sun capture. All right, so I drew my egg. It's got some triangles in it. Then I'm going to draw my grass real quick. And remember, it's kind of just like little scribbles. Of um, our dad's. That's it how looks like their our... dad's signature. <laughs> he writes them like scribbles. We can never understand it. <laughs> it's just short. It's just short signature. Okay. So as you can see, I kind of finished it and I missed a little spot. So I have my grass on there. Now, we're now I'm going to open it up and I'm going to start with my chick's head. So, oh, nope, I forgot to extend the egg again. So I'm going to come down a little further. So I've extended my egg down past my line. I'm going to do that on the bottom as well, bring it up a little bit. And then I'm going to add that zigzag so it looks like my egg is cracked. And then I'm going to draw 
my bunny's egg after my crack is completed. So you're gonna draw a curved line on both sides of your shell. Then you're going to draw a curved line out toward the edge of your paper. So now I have two curved lines coming off of my head. Those are going to be the wings. So we're going to do a wavy line coming up. So now I have two wings. And then I'm going to draw my rest of my body off my wings. So I just connected my wings to the bottom shell. Then I'm going to add some eyeballs. I'm going to give mine some eyelids and some eyelashes. You don't have to if you don't want to. I have the other one she included too. It was this one. See those are the eyelashes. So there's my eyes. And then your last step is your beak. So that's just really a triangle that's a little bit rounded at the top. And then you can add two little dots, just like a regular bird. And there's your chick. And this is how mine's turning out. It's um, like that. So we're going to let you go now because we don't want you to just let you sit okay. through this. And now she's going to tell you what else you can do. Comment down below if you want to do if you what kind of video you like. And subscribe. And subscribe. And if you really to like this. To Crafting with the Crankers. And make sure to really like this video.